All right. So we were able to get a uh, simple information through GraphQL using just fetch. Now in this one, we are going to get the thing we really wanted, which is discussions. So what we do is we just uh, go here. So make sure your repository is selected. So these are mentioned. So here we'll go to discussions. And then I think we can do uh, first we'll do first 100 and order by probably this is better uh, if you have order by or it will order in its in its own way i think ascending or descending i'm not sure you know how it will show up but uh let's see nodes you can actually have nodes that should be okay so we can have uh for now we are listing it so we don't really need all the things maybe we need the title which we find here and also maybe the number of the issue right this one now let's go for it yeah so we got it welcome okay so it is showing in the different dot like you know i want the um latest one at the top so maybe descending would do it yeah so this is the order i want so i'm going to copy this query i'm going to come back here and i'm going to just replace this query with this query and uh, i think that should be it uh, but here when i'm destructuring uh, data is right repository is right and then i should be doing discussions and maybe i don't want to do more of the uh, destructuring here so i'll just do i'll just see if discussions is coming here so i'll go to uh, i think i'm getting it yes so this is exactly what i wanted nodes okay so maybe i can do nodes as well and see what nodes is maybe nodes is the array i wanted yeah so nodes is the one so i will do return nodes here that's it. So what I can do here is I will remove everything else. Script export let data. Now this data will have those nodes. So I will do uh, this is the reactive way of destructuring it. So I want nodes from data. And now uh, I can uh, I can see if nodes are coming um, by doing console log here. And make sure you know you add the React way as well because you are reactively destructuring. You should, yeah. So I'm getting it. Now I can have a, a title of something um, GitHub CMS blog or something. And then I'll have uh, each block here, each nodes as, and we know what is inside these nodes title and number so we'll just destructure them right away number so usually what we do is you know nodes as node and then we do node dot title and everything so we can just avoid that here we'll do uh, i think we'll enclose this in a unordered list then we'll have a list item and anchor type um here goes the title and here the number all right so that should give us both the posts now uh, i might want to style this i'll do that in a different one but now if i go here i don't i don't really get anything because that page isn't ready right let's get that ready as well so it should be quite easy now if i want a dynamic page here so what i do is i do something like maybe article you can also do post or something uh, because I, I want to differentiate each post from you know other things uh, maybe i will have about contact and other things so i will not have the dynamic route here itself i'll have article and then inside i will have a new folder and i'll call this uh, number you can call anything id slug or something then i'll have a page plus page dot spelled uh this is the body of the post right but we may have to change this uh url as well 
something like slash article slash the number so that way um, when we click on it it will go to the page uh, right now it is going to this page um, which has like you know which has just body as its thing uh, we want the data to be uh, coming from graphql right so what we do is we'll just copy this we'll paste the same thing here we'll make some changes i don't want to type again and again so i'm doing this the query will be different uh, i think at least a little bit so let me go back to the explorer here now if you remember we did discussions we don't want discussions we want the singular which is discussion and we want the number uh, number should be uh, a variable here um, so variables can be used here so we do something called we click this dollar sign here which will make this a variable and that should uh, give us something like you know you can pass a number as something like 10 here or one i think it should be yeah something like this and now what we want is body html the title right we want the title as well we can get more details but this is all i want now um number is used by anonymous query but not declared okay okay so this variable uh we should mention it somewhere here as a name of the name of the query so it's it's an anonymous query so now we'll have query here and we'll name it something uh, maybe get discussion and then uh, okay and then we'll we'll name this um we'll define it here dollar number as a, uh, is it a string yeah it can be a string and it is required mismatch number okay so it should be integer sorry about that um okay once that is an integer variable was provided was provided invalid value okay so one is invalid because it is string so you, you will you will face a lot of issues like this i mean i think these are all solvable you just search for the error and you get it so i'm getting this uh body html and also the title which is my query so i can just copy it and go back and replace this entire thing with my query and uh, here this will remain the same actually everything remains the same except for maybe here destructuring but one more thing we are passing this variable right how do we pass it here so we'll pass it along with the query here with a comma maybe so we'll do one thing we want to pass this number one maybe right so i don't know what is this but i think something like this yeah we need something like variable or variables i'm guessing it's plural and number is one and once we do we get the data repository and then discussion and that should be it i think so let me console that out here and see if it works so i'm guessing things are fine so i think it should be server load the type anyway so i don't see any error but let's see what happens uh if i go here okay and go to the terminal here yeah i'm getting it so it's quite nice i got title and body so i can return this discussion and same way so here instead of uh, whatever we did right in our home page instead of notes we do discussion we don't want to console it out we know it's 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 there now we do uh, h1 maybe and then have discussion uh, title and then here in a division or something you can have uh, at html because we want to like you know uh, render that into html discussion dot body html if not it will show up a string yep we got it so this is the blog if we go back you can go to the other one and we get the data here so with those simple steps your blog is already there right in the next one we'll try to simplify it um the query is like repetitive uh, if you see here this query is same as this query pretty much just the 
query is different like other things are same so we'll try to maybe move it somewhere so that it's quite easy for us to use uh, that is one I'll, I'll fix those fix few stylings as well all right thanks guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye